WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. And currently, we have a little bit of a mixed bag out there. You've got the Dow and the S&P up slightly. The Dow's up under three. The S&P is actually flat. To the downside, the NASDAQ 100 is off nine points. The Russell's off 18. Semis are down 22. There's no way the market makes any kind of bottom until we see that signal coming from the NASDAQ and the semiconductor index. Trend is up 84 points. It's about 7 tenths of a cent. Gold is off $9. 16.76 is the print there. Silver's off 53 cents. 18.95 is what she's printing at. Lights Recruit is off a buck 68. Trading out at 87.66. Natural gas up 4 cents and a 30 year treasury. She's printing 124.14. Let's go take a look at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini and the upper left-hand corner. Still has its buy the D point pattern and it remains in effect as long as price continues to close above 35.71.75. Price though, it is below the bottom of its daily profile out there. So old support clearly becoming resistance, that resistance level being 36.45. As long as spot volatility remains above its 50-day exponential moving average, the 50 days at 27.67. Spot VIX trading out at 33.79. That does not bode well for the S&P 500. The Nasdaq, which I just said, we're not going to see any kind of market bottom until the Nasdaq and the semis give us that signal. The Nasdaq negated its buy the D point pattern yesterday when it closed below that September 30th swing point. That level was at 10.890.75. We're trading out at 10.854 as we speak right now. U.S. dollar index still trading above the top of its day and weekly profiles it should go target the old resistance area at 114.74 gold gold is testing a very key level so we know that gold broke above its daily profile that was last week and it did it for more than two days out there and then a new profile formed below price that's usually a bullish message but that new profile also formed below the pro the prior profile that's kind of a bearish message out here but here's the deal here's the playbook as long as gold holds 1668.88, it is setting up the possibility of an A to B equals CD to the upside. Now, silver needs to do the same thing. When I say the same thing, I mean it needs to continue to stay above the center of its daily profile. That's at 1891. We're trading 1893. So two pennies out there. So that's what we want to watch in fa as far as gold and silver. Lights we crude just consolidated with inside a brand new profile out here. That formed yesterday. And that resistance area is at 93.64 and support all the way down at 80.59. The uh, natural gas contract, it has a buy the D point pattern, but struggling to get above resistance. That's the old profile support level. So support becoming resistance there, and that's at $6.72. And a 30-year treasury, it's also got to buy the D point as long as price remains above 123.30. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Wednesday, please have a wonderful one. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care now.